G'day everyone, Virtual Conquer 85 here, and welcome to another video on editing Zeus V11 shaders. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to get depth of field back into Zeus V11. Now, unfortunately, we won't be able to get the original depth of field back into Zeus. The one that I'm referring to is the the depth of field that you're seeing right now, which is the one that uh, basically adjusts in a smooth transition, depending on what you're looking at. This is because of a function that Sonic Ether is now using called uh, Geox4. And a good friend of mine, uh, Robobo1221, uh, informed me of, which kind of breaks a function called Center Depth Smooth. And basically, because Sonic Ether is now using Geox4, we cannot use Center Depth Smooth. So instead, we're going to use a different way to implement it, which is a more simpler and basic way. But it's the only way we're going to get depths of field back into Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders. So, let's get started. Alright, so you need to open up your Zeus V11 shaders folder and double click on the shaders. And we're going to go down and open up final.fsh with notepad++. Uh, there will also be an extra file in the description of this video that you'll need to download as well. Which will be this one here. This will give us the extra code needed to get uh, the new depths of field put back in. Alright, so first of all on line 29, you just need to highlight this little bit here. Copy and paste it in just there. Alright, next we need to go down to line 246 and we need to copy from 246 all the way down to 264. We need to replace this with this bit of code just in here. So go copy and paste over the top of that. Alright, next we need to come down to line 324 and we just need to push tab and put in another bracket just like that all right and lastly we need to come down to line 650 and we need to highlight this line here and replace it with this one just here. So you go copy and paste. Once you've done that, you can hit save and we can go check it out in Minecraft. All right, once you're back in Minecraft, you can just double click on your shader to reload it. And now you should have depth of field back in. Unfortunately, this one does not you know, adjust the uh, depth of field smoothly. It is a quick pop sort of look to it. Unfortunately, this is about the best we're going to get without center depth smooth. Although this way is a lot faster, so the frame rate hit won't be nowhere near as much. Now, the way this uh, depth of field has now been set up, it will actually be in the shade options. If you have followed the previous tutorials, you'll have a misc tab in here. By default, it'll drop it in here. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to put the depth of field functions into the new options tab if you followed my previous video on how to add in this new shader options tab. So let's quickly go ahead and do that. Alright, so back in your Zeus V11 edit, we need to come down to shader properties, right click and open with notepad plus plus. Alright, so in here, under the screen.new options, we are going to add in depth of field, this one just here. So control C, and we're going to paste it in here. We're also going to add in the max blur amount, 
So control C, hit space, control V. And the last one is this one here. So control C, space, control V. Hit save. Go back into your Minecraft. Double click your Zeus V11 edit to properly reload it. And now if you go into your shader options, your depth of field will now be under here. So now you can turn it off if you please. And no more depth of field. Same as if you want to turn it back on. There you go. This is the same uh, depth of field that is now used in Continuum 1.3. Just to let you know where it came from. So yeah, if this video was any use to you, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye.